Today on this 2014 GMC Sierra 1500 Crew Cab, we're going to install part number C14006. This is a Kirk Class 4 2 inch receiver hitch. This is what the hitch looks like when installed in a truck. First off, general appearance, you can see that half the hitch body is hidden behind a bumper. And this is a square tube construction that's actually uh, curved a little bit to go around the spare tire. Has a built in uh, collar around it, which actually reinforces the end of the tube. And also, we got uh, some safety chain loops here. So, common safety chain hooks work just fine. It has a long plate that goes up to the frame, and it uses the two existing bolts on each side of the frame, as well as uses two existing holes on the bottom of the frame as well. And the hitch does come with all provider hardware to install. All right, and a couple of, you know, a couple of other things to know about the hitch that by itself, it can pull 10,000 pound trailer and then it can handle 1,000 pounds of tongue link, which is pulling down on the hitch. And then with, with a separate, uh, and then with a separate weight distribution assembly installed into the hitch, the capacity will go up to 12,000 pounds trailer and 1,200 pounds tongue weight. All right, next we'll go ahead and give you a couple measurements to help you out in selecting some accessories, such as a ball mount, a bicycle rack, or a cargo carrier. From top to receiver opening down to the ground will be about 18 inches. And from the center of a hitch pin hole to the outside edge of the bumper will be a little over 3 inches. Now we'll go ahead and show how to install the hitch. First off, you need to go ahead and remove the existing fasteners that are located on the end of the frame rail right here. This is the passenger side and it's going to be identical on the driver's side. We'll use a 21 millimeter socket to remove the bolt. We'll also need a 21 millimeter wrench for top of the second bolt. Then we'll do the same thing over on the driver's side. Alright, now if your bolt's in the bind, like this right here, you can use a 10mm socket to unscrew it from the bind. Now we need to save our existing hardware because it will be reused for the hitch. All right, now at this point, we're almost ready to put our hitch into place. We'll go ahead and cover some of the hardware that goes into the frame. We have a half inch carriage bolt and a block with a square hole. These will fit together just like this on the inside of a frame. All right, now we'll go ahead and show you the attachment points on the hitch. Our original hardware we took out earlier will be these two points and then these two as well. And they'll get our carriage bolts and blocks. Attaching points will be once again same on both sides of the truck. So let's go ahead and add a hardware on the other side. Now when we install our hitch, we'll go ahead and install uh, the original factory bolt at the very end of the frame that goes into the weld nut on the end of the frame. We'll use this one on each side to help hold the hitch up. And then we'll install the rest of our hardware on our hitch. It'll be close quarters up there, so we'll go ahead and use an extension to help run the bolt in like this. All right, with an X set of hands, we'll go ahead and hold the hitch up in position. We'll make sure we don't push the bolts back into the frame. And we'll install our factory bolt. Next, we need to install two washers between the frame and the hitch. This will be on the new hardware we installed. So we'll just lift the bolt out. And we'll just slip the washer in. And with the hitch a little bit loose so you can work the washer in. That may help to use a screwdriver or alignment tool to help get the washer in place as well. Okay. Now we'll go ahead and install flange nuts. Again, we'll keep these loose and we'll do the same thing over on the driver's side. Back over on the passenger side, we'll go ahead and install our second original bolt. We'll go ahead and put it back together. Do it once again on both sides. All right, now if all our hardware loosely installed, we'll go ahead and tighten it down and then we'll torque it down as specified in the instructions. All right, with that, that'll finish it for the install of part number C14006.
This is a Kirk Class 4 2 inch receiver hitch on our 2014 GMC Sierra 1500. 